Buenos días, mi gente. Soy yo, Cristino Flores. Welcome to another episode of Commuting with Cristino. You know, this week I've been thinking about Judas. Judas Iscariot. And as I reflect about Judas, I wonder, who was this man? Why did he betray Jesus? What were the series of events that led up to this betrayal? And as I think about this, we know that Judas was one of the 12. Well, in order to understand why Judas did what he did, we need to know who he was. This uh, Jewish man was not of Galilee. He was to be very trusted, number one. On top of that, Judas's heart is what led him to betray Jesus. You see, from what we understand, Judas accepted a bribe from the Pharisee scribes to betray Christ. But that wasn't the first time he was taking money for deeds. You see, throughout the gospel, Judas has, has, was known to have been taken from the purse. He was their treasurer. And as the disciples were going around, uh, the apostles were discipling to others. Judas would take little money for himself. So his heart wasn't where he should have been. This made it easier for him to betray Christ. Now, what led to the betrayal? Well, when Jesus is having supper with his disciples, Lazarus, uh, Martha, and when Mary, Martha's and Lazarus' sister, begins to bring forth perfume, very expensive uh, a fragrance, and breaks it open and uses it to wash our Lord's legs and feet. And then, of course, she uses her hair to dry it. Judas becomes a little concerned, not because he feels that the poor can benefit from this perfume, but because he knows in his heart if he was to sell that item, he would be able to take money from it. And because Mary used it, that removed him from his opportunity. And we know at this point that Judas decided to betray Christ. Of course, he goes to the Pharisees and he lets them know that through a gesture, through a kiss, they're going to be able to identify who Christ is and then ultimately betray him. Many times we have people in our lives that hurt us. It could be an acquaintance, a friend, or family member. We can also be the person inflicting pain upon someone else. What you have to remember is you have to have your heart set where you need to be. You see, if you're devoted to God by following Christ, you're able to avoid those desires of betrayal. Or if someone betrays you, you're able to forgive them. These are things that help us grow in our spiritual journey and our walk with Christ. Guys, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to click and subscribe. Have a great one. Animated Rebels, baby. Animated Rebels, baby.